What's going on YouTube? It's your boy K Jordan with Sully Grills. Uh, coming at you with a quick comparison video coming straight off of the you know All-Star Weekend. We had a lot of dope releases, the restock on the Easy 350s and the OVO 10s. You know, you can't go wrong if you got either of those, but these right here is what I was going for. Uh, I know it was a very mass-produced shoe, but the reason why I'm comparison, comparing these two, this is not a fake versus real. It's actually a real versus real. Got both of these from Finish Line, one DS pair. Got those off the raffle. Got these yesterday. Walked in and were still sitting on the shelf, so why not? Uh, obviously, since I got these a week later, I didn't get them at the same time. I had every intention on doubling up on these, but of course, the news about the restock and the OVOs came out. I actually lost the raffle. And the Yeezy sold out in like instantly. As soon as you got on the website, they were gone. But whatever. Uh, so the comparison on these, a lot of people said there was like a tongue difference, the Nike logo difference, and the speckle difference. Um, I'm, get, I st I'm still getting questions about that. So what I'm going to do is a quick video on that. This is the only thing I've seen. This right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that from here. Undies pair, DS pair. DS pair, a whole lot of speckles on DS pair. You see it. These look way more OG to me because they don't have that many speckles on there. This kind of reminds me of just a 2012. But the gray on it is a lot lighter, which which is, is really, really dope to me. But other than that, man, that was pretty much it. Uh, another thing that happened on mine is that these were creased up like somebody had worn them. And it was actually on both pairs. Didn't mind too much on these because I was going to break these out. I actually waited to break these out when I got these. Got them. There's a stain on the inside. I don't know what was going on with these. I got two pairs. I can't really complain. Got them both for retail. No resale prices. I love the mass production. But you guys let me know. Did you guys get two pairs of them or did you and your friend like compare both of the two pairs to see if there was a difference between them? Because obviously my only difference was the back tab. But if that's it. That's all, man. I'm not complaining at all. But uh, go ahead and check out our early access review of the pink 12s that got pushed back. Still getting a lot of like likes and feedback on everything with that. So go check that out. Uh, the Master 12s are dropping next weekend. And uh, are you going to get them, man? I really don't know if I'm going to get them because the material is, to me, kind of trash. But that's Jordan Brand for you. They can put out a Dookie Brown 12 and everybody's going to buy it. He could literally name it the Dookie Brown 12s and everybody will buy it. But other than that, man, just go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. And you already know what it is. Sully Grails, wear what you love, out.